What is up, my good friends here at the DGen Rips channel? We really went in the trenches today hunting for this gravity feed box of Donruss football 2023. As you can see, no downtowns in this, but there are autos and the yellow press proofs are going for a couple bucks, especially of that man on the Texans who has two letters in his first name, CJ Stroud. Let's do this, hunting for the yellow press proofs. I've been seeing autos coming out of these, so let's go for it, why not? I told the man, Alejandro, I was like, dude, just throw the whole thing in the in the bag. <laughs> just just count the count the packs. I want the box. I want the whole thing. Throw it in there, my guy. Could have been a little more gentle with the packs. But at the end of the day, I'm sure they're underpaid. And I'm not entitled enough to think he cares about men on cardboard. So let's do this. Hope the cards are all together. Look at that, a full one. I believe it was 48 packs. So $48, 48 packs. Let's have ourselves a time and rip. Do what we do best here at DGen Rips and rip. Stupid light. Need still, still, as you can see, making slight upgrades. Every video, I believe the mic will be working this time. I got the black uh, tablecloth going. Let's do this. Hopefully, we could hit a nice auto of Anthony Richardson. All right, first pack. And our first yellow is of Derwin James. There it is, the first yellow. So, you could get yellows of non-rookies, I guess. So it'll be a little tougher than I thought to pull that C.J. Stroud. All right, Christian Gonzalez and Trey Lance. They still got him in the um, interesting in prism. They have him in the Cowboys uniform. I guess they still got him in the Niners here. Keep it going. He did make it further in the playoffs this year than Trevor Lawrence. Here is Odell Beckham, Petrie, and Caleb Huntley. Still no rookie yet. No rookie press proof. They got to pick it up. Come on, let's do this. And Miles Sanders. Lots of packs. Lots of packs. So we're going to... You know, we're going to go at a pretty good pace here. Jamal Adams. Absolutely disgusting already. I went to about four family dollars to find this. It's interesting. You go to the family dollars. They still had they still had an absolute football gravity pack from last year. They had 2021 Series 2 baseball. Gravity feeds. I saw a 2021 Tops WWE gravity feed. There is our first yellow press proof of a rookie, and it's Israel Abanaconda. That is what it looks like, the McDonald's parallel. And is anyone watching the Pro Bowl this weekend? I am not. I actually don't care at all about the Pro Bowl. I get it. They're trying to do some skills challenges and, you know, make it a little interesting. I don't care. I want to see the best in the world knock each other's heads off. And if we're not getting that, I do not care about a Pro Bowl or a Pro Bowl game. I mean, I want to see a guy like Mahomes throw the ball to Justin Jefferson. That's it. That's the only reason I would ever turn tune into a Pro Bowl. There's a Tank Bigsby yellow. That's the only reason I'd ever tune into a Pro Bowl. I want to see the best in the world go at it 
They're getting paid millions of dollars. I don't care. I don't care if the game means nothing. They are getting paid more than people that risk their lives on boats in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean to get crabs. Police officers make a quarter, a quarter of a quarter of a quarter of what they make to risk their lives. Those guys could go out there and play and try to prove that they're the best. I don't care. There's a nice shroud. So, I don't know. Bring back a real Pro Bowl. And tell these guys, I'm going to fine you a million dollars. How about that? I'm going to fine you a million dollars if you don't go out there and try to win the game. And then see what happens. See what they want to do next. Imagine CJ Stroud throwing the ball to Devontae Adams. Everyone wants to see that. Sauce Gardner Puka and the yellow picket. He'll be back. I mean, is he any good? Probably not, but if he won't pick at stuff, I think he'll get another shot. There's Puka Nakua, my man. Puka. Puka and Stroud up there. Two best rookies so far of this class on the offensive side of the ball. Oh, what is this? A kid reporter. Williams, we get DeAndre Swift. So no auto yet. But people have told me there's autos in here. Trey Lance. Dontavian Wicks. He is a solid player. And that'll be our best yellow so far. Dontavian Wicks. On the board. For the Packers. Sean, Josh Downs, Tyler Higby. Oh, man. We got a lot left, though. We got a lot. You should have seen Alejandro's face when I told him, yeah, just I want the whole thing. Just I want, I want the whole box, everything. He just he was like, see? And, you know, if you, if you, do, um, if you do school in South Florida, that you get two years of Spanish guaranteed. Like, it's required. So I was like, see, sí, por favor. And uh, he was he was said um, he counted them and he said oh, man, as you can see, the public schooling system in South Florida, not the greatest. Forget Quarenta E Ocho. I said C sí, C. Sí. Quarenta Iocho. And uh, he's like, un momento. Pauses, counts them all again. Scans them all, slaps them on the dead. I mean, like, slaps them down to count. Not just going like, you know, a normal human being. Like, he was... But you know what? Like I said, like I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna, not gonna get upset not going to say anything at the end of the day it's trading cards with men on them that we chase so i don't i don't think uh i was entitled there to anything i've already felt silly the poor lady behind me holding a red bull having to go through that uh there's there's really nothing probably more degrading then checking out sometimes in line and you got like you know oh there's a good one Laporta press proof and you got like $150 worth of sports cards and uh, you know there's no self checkout or anything I, I go to the self checkout I know I'm a loser like that just cause I, uh, I, don't, I, don't want, <laughs> I don't want anyone to realize what a degenerate I am so I go to the self checkout but that was pretty unavoidable and Alejandro did a good job, judgment free. Didn't didn't make any side comment. Didn't uh, look at me weird. He just you know did his job, good as he could do it. It's Darren Waller. 
All right, we still got we still got a solid stack here. I think that Laporta yellow is definitely worth a few bucks. We got a Stroud for 48 bucks. I think we're actually doing good. Forrest Buckner. I think we're doing pretty good here. It would be kind of sick to see an auto out of this, but there's Will Levis and Lucas Van Ness. Tanner McKee and Garrett Wilson. Man, Garrett Wilson. If Rodgers even comes back and plays like half as good as he's played in his last season or two, Garrett Wilson is going to be a monster. Ohio State quarterbacks, or Ohio State, excuse me, Ohio State wide receivers dominate in the NFL. Give him even a decent quarterback. You are going to see Garrett Wilson fly. Chase Brown. London. Jaron Hall. Tyron Matthew. So yeah, it was actually pretty funny. The day of the NFC Championship I was at a card show shout out to the Palm Beach Kennel Club card show people and man there was more Jared Goff cards than I've ever seen in my life at that show there's a good one poor people wanting to just get rid of them just get rid of the Jared Goff and it was actually pretty funny People trying to sell you on Goff. There was some guy, like some used car salesman guy, was like, oh, yeah, you want to talk about the most underrated player in the NFL right now? Jared Goff. This guy right here. Like, trying to sell me on Jared Goff. I'm like, dude, I know they're they're getting eight points tonight. Like, I, I do not want Jared Goff. I'm sorry. I, I don't. Do not want Jared Goff. Leave me alone. And... Um, yeah, I don't know. Those people probably aren't doing so hot today. If they weren't able to get rid of their golf cards. Talk about a pump and dump. However, sure, Brock Purdy cards are ripping right now. And here's the thing about Purdy. And why I like him. And I like his cards. I mean, are they overpriced? Yeah. Even if he wins the Super Bowl. Sure, his cards will still come down. Even if he wins the Super Bowl and wins MVP, his stuff is so high, I could see it cooling off no matter what in the offseason. It's that it's a great story. He's Mr. Irrelevant, and he beats Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl, beats Jared Goff, a number one overall pick in the playoffs on the way there, comes back. He's also a likable guy. Like, people try to make him not likable. People try to overrate him or whatever on purpose to, like, bait outrage to make you hate Brock Purdy. But you, you can't help but root for him. He just keeps getting counted out and hated on. I like the story of Brock Purdy. Every draft, until you die, until the day you die, you are going to hear about Brock Purdy being Mr. Irrelevant. Every draft, they're going to bring it up. When it's time for the last pick, they're going to say, oh, don't turn, don't turn the dial yet. This person could be the next Brock Purdy. Look at what he did. Made the Super Bowl. Maybe won a Super Bowl. And um, he, he's already going to live in, uh, in, in the uh, bowels of history. You can't really say that for a lot of other players. Joe Burrow will be forgotten if he doesn't win a Super Bowl. Look at Carson Wentz, for example. Look at uh, if Jared. I mean, if Jared Goff retired, he'd be totally forgotten. Hell, how many of you guys collect? Like, look at Matt Stafford. People are not going to really remember Matthew Stafford, I don't think either. And he won a Super Bowl, so Purdy is already 
sort of cemented himself in history. He'll be talked about more 20 years from now than Josh Allen. If Josh Allen, you know, doesn't win something. Javon Holland. All right, we're on our last pack. And that is my TED Talk. Hope you all enjoyed. All right, the final pack. We did not hit an auto. We got one left. There's Rasheed Rice. And speak of the devil, Matthew Stafford. Okay. So there you have it. A full gravity feed box. And I get the box, which is really cool. Really cool looking box. Like the design of Donruss this year. It's like it's like a uh, fish mouth. All right. Anyway, let's get the comps. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go to your Family Dollar, get yourself one of these. They're pretty fun and uh, inexpensive too. So take care, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Enjoy the weekend. Peace.